All right, ladies. Now, we may work out our bodies, maybe learn a skill for a job, but have you ever gone through warrior goddess training? Well, Heather Ashavara is here to tell us how to do that and how it will help us become the women that we are meant to be. Heather Ash, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Tina. Great to be here with you. I just love seeing that warrior. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me, what does that really mean? For me, warrior energy is it's like, it's focus, clarity, 100% commitment. I'm in. And the goddess energy is, huh, it's about opening, receptivity, creativity. And as women, we need to bring both of these energies into our life. Some of us are more ori warrior oriented, yeah. some of us are more goddess oriented. So it's really about finding where's your balance and learning to use each of those skills wherever they're needed. So how do we do that? How do we train the warrior goddess inside of us? The first piece is to commit to yourself. So, so many of us as women, we've committed to everybody else yeah. and we leave ourselves out of the equation. So to step into saying, yes, I'm going to befriend myself. I'm going to no longer abandon myself and really to learn to be your best friend is how I see it. Oh, you know, I think a lot of women are, are hearing this and they're saying, that is me. Uh, and I think a lot of what we're going to talk about is going to touch with a lot of women, including I think women kind of put restraints on themselves uh, and maybe don't realize it or don't know how to get out of it. Exactly. We've often tried to make ourselves small. Yeah. One easy way to see this is notice how often you apologize during the day. Mm. Like I notice people step on my toe and be like, I'm sorry. Yes. And so there's a way that we just make ourselves smaller without even realizing it. We don't negotiate for ourselves. We don't step in and use our voice in a really clear way. And so to start being, becoming aware of where are the places you're making yourself small or you're not stepping up. And then be gentle, be persistent and really support yourself in a good way and rather I than judging. Actually, it leads yeah. right into what I was going to say is I think also something that women, we may not realize we're doing, but maybe being a little bit of competitive uh, with other women or maybe, you know, we've heard a lot of this in headlines, like build up other women, you know, instead of kind of lowering them to make you, uh, exactly. do you kind of feel that in that training also? Absolutely. And often as women, we've created this image of perfection of who we're supposed to be. Yes. And so we're comparing ourselves constantly to that image of perfection and to other women. And therefore we get competitive with other women and it doesn't serve anybody. We then feel like we have to struggle or fight or be something else. And we, we end up tearing other women down. And so that place of when we learn to support ourselves, we naturally start to support other women. And I know you also touch on like a false modesty. Yes. The place that we're trying to be like, oh, I'm holy, yeah. I am quiet, everything's good, I'm perfect. And that place of trying to be perfect, so exhausting. Yeah. Because imagine I'm like, I have to do everything exactly right. I, life is messy. So to be honest with ourselves or where we really are and to also to be ex creative and expressive with who we are, to not be afraid to be wild or quiet or loud or whatever, silly, because we're all different. Yeah. And once we kind of, like you were saying, kind of aligning uh, the two, I know a lot of women uh, have other women that they're, they're bringing up, their daughters. Yes. How do we maybe uh, help if we have a daughter to become that, to, to be one with that way earlier than some of us that are just getting in tune with that? Yeah, to really give your daughters a lot of love and a lot of support to have courage, to try to take risks and to also to really find their confidence in themselves because there's been lots of studies done that around 11 years old, girls completely lose their confidence. 11. 11 years old. So that's a really critical time for girls. And I think it's starting to, to become younger because there's so much pressure of this is how you should be. And so for mothers to really share with their daughters, you are unique, you are wonderful exactly the way you are, be you. Don't try and be anybody else. And also for moms and all of us as women to be role models. So for us to do our own work and to really find our center and our uniqueness and be willing to shine that, that then impacts everybody around us. You know, I'm thinking uh, it, it's the time of year where, when people are thinking of buying things for someone. You know what, grab a copy of this book and, and give it to all of your girlfriends. You know, and all of you kind of get, get on board with it together. Yes. Uh, I think that would be amazing. I'm gonna let them know how to do that. Uh, Heather Ash, thank you so much for coming in. This was wonderful. Now, everyone, to learn more about warrior goddess training or anything that we just discussed, please visit heatherashamara.com.